There are over 20,000 people living in Ballymun. However, only 2-3% to ever make it to third level education. In 2005, JUST, the Jesuit University Support and Training Project, was established to help the people of Ballymun reach their full potential. Well, Jesuits have been involved in university education, education at all levels, really since they were founded back in the 16th century. So just worldwide, it's one of our, our main activities. It's certainly part of why I joined the Jesuits originally. You hear so much talk about it's being a wealthy country now and one of the wealthiest in the world, and yet there are still certainly many parts of Dublin and we know of similar areas in other cities like Limerick and Galway and Cork. Um, there are still pockets of disadvantage that certainly makes it hard to believe that, that this is a wealthy country. basic idea is to allow people to begin the process of getting a degree um, working here within Ballymun. So we've set up a unit that offers academic support, personal support and at present we have about 57 people um, involved in JUST and at different stages of getting a degree. Today in working class areas in Dublin, in Ireland, this is one of the things that we have to do. You know, people have to be liberated, the shackles taken off to actually go for it. And lots of people are very intelligent, but they've never had the, the chance to use their brain and be in a disciplined area where they can develop their interests and do their learning. It's just so essential, I think. People in Ballymun, I think it's, it's a mental block they have created themselves and, and think that they can't do this they can't go to, to tour level college and some of, they're probably more intelligent than half the people in this outside of them. No, no one in my family goes to college. What's that called? Uh, politicians, is it? Yeah? Oh. I want to be a lawyer. Yeah, I'd love to go to college to be a beautician. I think the obstacles, like some of them are very, very... I suppose immediate and concrete, like financial issues. If, uh, if people are single parents and have children to worry about, they can't easily leave a job to do a, a part-time degree. It's a real problem that the um, financing of part-time study, especially for mature students, is it's still it's far from satisfactory. Um, on the more personal level, a lot of people wouldn't have had the chance to complete secondary education. Um, some of them wouldn't even have completed primary education. It's the way I brought up, I suppose. Like your parents hadn't got a great interest in education and didn't put it into you. So just follow them. I couldn't wait to get out of school. And it's, as I got older, I obviously realised she, she should have stayed in school. You know what I mean? When I moved up here on my own, I didn't have many family or friends, so I found it very difficult to kind of build up new, new friendships with new people from scratch, like it was very hard. People started to come to us because other people were doing it and they heard it was worth doing or somebody in a course in another with another community organisation and the person spotted them and said you should be thinking of going to third level, go and see Just. Um, the way I heard about Just was through my sister. She done this herself and then went on to college and I followed doing the same thing. My log priest is Frederick Frank and he is he's like I've been known since I was a kid and we just out of the blue one day he approached me and asked me did I he, he just approached me and asked me did I want to join a group called Just and he just maybe just suggested I come over and just have a look and see what the group was about and what they offered as, as a support group for college students. It's really they need encouragement, they need moral support, they need some practical support 
they've never written an essay in their lives, they've never used a library, uh, and even how to go about reading a book in a way that, that's efficient and that's helpful if you're writing an essay or doing a project. So we find the range of supports with some basic academic and personal support, people can take that first step. Well, in Just we learn a lot of different things. Firstly, they kind of learn basics, like some people that are coming into the group have been in school like for about 20 years, 20, 20 years. And so they give kind of basic verbal, grammar, spelling, punctuation, and any kind of just the basics of, of English language. At the moment, I'm doing basic, um, it's a pre-college course, like uh, how to read notes, take notes, and how to read, basically, um, and get your point out, you know what I mean, our lectures and all that typing, uh, computers, all that sort of stuff. It's made me realise I'm capable of it, yeah. Give me confidence. People's reaction when they physically look at buying one is, is a lot more is a lot more of a positive response compared to five or six years ago. To break the cycle of poverty, I know a lot of a lot of money and effort is being invested now in the physical regeneration of areas like Ballymun, with new houses being built and old flats being knocked down, but unless there's a breakthrough as well on the level of culture and, and education, the cycle of poverty won't be broken, that it'll be passed on to the next generation. So it'll be terrific if over the next, say, three to five years, that um, gradually people emerged from the project who could you know, take on a leadership role and, and that they would guide the project then into the future and, up to them how it developed.